Thank you Marvel Snap for sponsoring this video. Angels are said to be the kindest souls alive. With their massive pearl white wings that allow them to fly, they are truly a spectacle to see. But did you know that angels are also insanely powerful? Well today, I'm gonna be transforming into an angel in Minecraft for the next 100 days. My goal as an angel is to survive the full 100 days while three demons try and stop me from succeeding. On day one, I spawned in as a small little angel. Look at me, I'm a tiny little angel. Apparently I'm called a Cherub, but that doesn't matter. I might be a small angel now, but with my angel upgrades, I can later become a seraph, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically like a super angel. Anyway, let's survive 100 days as an angel. Okay, I just turned around and there's a massive nether portal. That does not look good. Hey, an angel. Get him. Get him. Get over here, angel. Oh, God. Oh, we gotta go. Oh, what are those things? Get him, demon. Get over here, angel. Give us your soul. I want his wig. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Jump into the water. Oh, oh they're coming. Those are definitely demons because demons hate angels. Oh, God. They're right below me. Oh, oh wow. We only have eight hearts of health, so we gotta get away from these guys quick because they're gonna kill me if they keep punching me. A village. A village. A village. This could come in handy. I can use my smallness to get away from them here. I have an idea. I'm gonna run to the other side of this hill. Okay, we're hidden in the village for right now. Oh my God, he's right next to me. Oh my God. They're running all around me. They won't leave. No way! They found me in there. What? How did they find me in there? They are cheaters. There's no way. I have a good distance between me and them. I have an idea. Okay, this way. I have three wood. I need at least two more. Let's get this wood up here. Their hunger's gotta be getting low. Though mine is too. Okay, let's grab some more wood right here. Oh, they're right behind me. I fit in one high gaps. They don't. Go. Oh, I can use this to my advantage. Maybe. Go this way. Oh. Oh, I got one of them. One of them. They took a lot of fall damage. Okay, we're in a bad spot right now. One of them just died of fall damage trying to kill me. Let's go up here. Okay, one of them's right there. He just saw me. Oh, my hunger's gone. Oh, he's gathering wood. He's gathering wood. Crafting table. Boat. Okay, we have the boat. We just need to get to a river. Oh, they're still in my tail. Come on, the river's right down here. We're right here. We can get away. I don't think they have a boat. Go. Yes, yes. We can get away from them here. 100% we're going to get away from them. Oh, that was so close. We are almost dead already. But before we continue running away from the demons, let me tell you about a new game I've been playing called Marvel Snap. Now, hold on. I see a bunch of you about to skip this ad. Well, don't. You really are going to want to have to check out this game because it was literally made for Marvel fans like you and me. Marvel Snap is a brand new free to play. Yes, that's right free Marvel collectible card game. And the game is super easy to learn too. You see, Snap takes place over six turns. In each turn, you get more and more energy to play even better cards. And to win the game, all you gotta do is overpower two of the three location cards at the center of the board. These location cards reveal themselves on turn three, and each one has game altering effects, so be careful. Now for my actual favorite part of this game, you can't pay to win. You have to actually earn all of your cards. So if you're a massive Marvel fan like me, or you just love board games like chess, this game literally has everything for you. And if everything I've said so far still doesn't convince you to join me in this game, what if I told you it was created by Game Studio Second Dinner, which is a company created by Ben Brode, the game designer and face of Hearthstone. So what are you waiting for? Download Marvel Snap on Steam, Android, or iPhone today. Simply scan that QR code on screen, uh, th this one right here, or click the link in the description down below to start playing with me right now. Okay, we got away. Oh yeah, they just said you'll never escape us, Angel, in chat. And you know what? It's already deep in the night. This is the perfect place to call home. We got a nice water cave here where we'll easily be able to make a hidden base. So let's get started. Obviously, we need a bunch more wood. There we go. Now we got a crafting table and now we got a wooden pickaxe. Let's grab three stone. Now we have a stone pickaxe. Now let's actually build the base. So it looks like there's magma down here, which is super useful for building underwater cave bases. Let's just go ahead and stand here for a second, get some free oxygen. And this isn't a bad place to build the base. I can put it right up against this back wall right here. Let's see how this works. Oh, whoa, it's spit out into a giant cave. Actually, this will work perfect. Okay, now that I've picked this spot for a base, I just gotta build a quick wall around it because this is definitely not a safe base and uh, my hearts are super low. Okay, our tiny little base is done for day one. Okay, so we finished up the wall. Now I'm just gonna go get some food so I can heal up and I'm gonna go get myself a bed so I can sleep because a bed is actually the key tool to completing these 100 day challenges because they literally cut the time you need to play in half. I built a basic shelter from days two to four and this had to be the most basic base I've made in a video yet. And that's simply because while I was making the base, I saw the demons close by and quickly had to hide from them inside the base, wasting a ton of time. Okay, this base is obviously a lot more 
more basic than usual, but it's gonna have to do. I mean, you can see the whole base here. Entrance, everything else. There you go, base tour done. Anyway, I'm still happy with the base. It's still got all the essentials. And I really just want to start working on upgrades anyway. Because if the demons come back, I actually could be in a lot of trouble. Because with only eight arts of HP and three demons, I am vastly outnumbered. But I've got a plan. You see, I don't want to unlock the spiritual weapon because that requires me to actually kill two with a demon. But what if I get a different upgrade first? And that's where Bless comes in. For only 64 golden carrots and a bucket of lava, I can get the upgrade. Okay, so to do this, we're definitely going to need a nether portal. Now, right now, I only have one diamond and I'm definitely going to need three. So let's quickly go mine some diamonds and make a diamond pickaxe. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, okay. I found some diamonds, but there's a lot of monsters over here. So let me just quickly take care of them. There we go. That's all the diamonds we need. Now let's go make a diamond pickaxe and mine some obsidian. We got a bucket in the chest that was actually just above us. So we're actually going to get some lava too. Okay, we grabbed a bucket of lava. We literally just need to get the gold. So let's make ourselves a diamond pickaxe. We might as well make a diamond sword while we're here. And now let's go mine ourselves some obsidian. Okay, we got 10 obsidian. Now let's go make a nether portal. Okay, nether portal's made. Here we go. Take this flint, combine it with some iron. Now let's go to the nether and get some gold. Okay, I don't see any bastions super close, but we haven't had much time to look around. Oh, there's literally a bastion right here. I just found one. Let's go. Let's grab some blocks real quick. Okay, we made it to the bastion. Let's just go grab those gold blocks. One gold block. Gold block number two. Okay, let's check out this chest. Yes, okay, we got another gold block. Bunch more arrows. We got two more chests over this way. Oh, there we go. We got some gold ingots. I'll take those. And more iron blocks over here. We still need about five more gold blocks, I believe. So we'll start digging around for them. Okay, there should be some below these blocks here. Yep, there it is. Booyah, we should get a bunch of gold blocks from this. Yeah, this is gonna be all we need. This is all the gold we need. And then if I keep digging this way... We've definitely got all the gold we need. So let's go ahead. Let's head on home. And we just need to get some carrots to make some golden carrots. And we can unlock our first angel ability, Bless. It looks like it's currently still day six. So let's go to the village nearby and get some carrots. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have seeds. Okay, there we go. There is some carrots mixed in here. So let's grab all this food. Okay, we got six carrots. And we need 64. So that's definitely not going to be enough. Let's go check out the other farms. Please have more carrots than the last guy. Okay, and all we got about 26 carrots, which is definitely not enough. But luckily, I have a backup idea, so let's go back to the base and start working on that. Okay, so let's go and let's build this farm. This is how big it's gonna be. Just nice four blocks, but this'll do. Now we're gonna go and plant our carrots. Let's turn our bone blocks back into bone meal, and let's see how many we get now. See, just like that, we got 37 now. This is gonna be way better. And there we go, just like that, we have 64 carrots. Now let's grab our gold, turn it into gold ingots, then turn those gold ingots into gold nuggets. And now we simply gotta put our carrots in the center and surround it with all of our gold nuggets. And now we have 64 golden carrots. And if we pay attention, we now can unlock the bless upgrade. So let's go ahead and let's do it. If I activate bless, you're gonna see I gain some hearts and it uses some energy. It doesn't really mean that much. Let me tell you what it actually does. Bless actually has three abilities. If I bless myself, I gain five golden hearts and any bad status effects I have, automatically go away. However, if I bless a demon, I give them slowness one and wither one for five seconds and I remove all their buffs. And if I bless a mob, it will double all of its drops. How amazing is that? So yeah, bless is gonna be super useful, but now it's time to unlock our first weapon, the spiritual weapon. And to unlock it, we need to kill 50 hostile mobs, take 30 damage and kill two demons. But before we go after those, I wanna actually find myself a diamond chest plate real fast because I wanna guarantee that these demons don't kill Kill me. Okay, with the diamond chest plate out of the way, we can now fight the two demons. But let's do the rest of the upgrade first, just in case. So we need 50 hostile mob kills, which we'll just go quickly do down in the cave. And we should take about 30 damage while doing that. We'll see by the end. Okay, there we go. We got all the damage and hostile mob kills done. And now we just need to go take on two demons and hope we don't die doing it. Okay, now I haven't actually seen the demons in quite some time now. But when they passed by earlier, there's a chance they were going to make their base. Now, when they went past, they were heading north, which is in this direction over here. So if I keep following that, there's a chance that I just bump into their base. And since it's my best bet, I'm just gonna head north and see if we can find them. Because I need these demon kills to unlock my first angelic weapon. I don't think they live in the snow biome. There's an igloo over there. Oh my god, no, they are living here. That is not natural. That is ugly. I hate snow biomes. Why are they living in a snow biome? Oh, it's a village. Okay, so I found 
around the demon space. Uh, it looks like they have a really ugly tower. Oh yeah, I literally see one of them. I can literally see him over there. Look at him. The ground's frozen, so let's get right up to their tower and hide. Okay, we're in the tower. Now we got, we want to get a sneak attack. So let's break in. And now let's just quickly climb up. Okay, we're on top of the tower right now. We just need to get a sneak attack on one of them. And I think the best bet is to literally wait on top of the tower and I might be able to kill them twice and get out. Because luckily as an angel, I can leap off buildings and no one can kill me. I hope they saw that I'm shooting arrows at them. I'm just gonna sit the cat down right next to the portal. Surely. Really oh my god, I just got shot at. What? Dude, he's at our base! Oh, oh he is. <laughs> that should have tracked them up to their tower. Okay, one of them's coming, one of them's coming. Oh, he tried to get me, I blocked him! That was funny. Oh, he thought he could get me. Oh god, oh no, ouch. Oh, he's gotta be low. He's gotta be low, we're going for him. Oh, he's going for me! I'm right behind you! I'm coming, buddy, no! Yes, one kill down. Okay, there's one on me. Oh, we're low. Need some food? Go this way. Okay, they're looking for me right now. Where'd he go? Actually, I actually don't know. He literally disappeared. Oh, he's he's on me. He's on me. I poisoned him. Okay, we got him hit. They poisoned me. I'm going for him. He's low. Oh, he's definitely low. I hit him again. Come on. We're not letting up. Yes, we got him. We got both our kills. We can do the upgrade. Okay, hold on. Let's go this way for a sec. We need to put some space in between us. I need to unlock my spiritual weapon. Okay, we ready? Combat, spiritual weapon unlocked. Okay, how do I use it? Oh, it's already on me. I see it floating around me. How does it work? Oh, it hurts, bro. Oh, it's automatically hitting them, I think. Okay, we got a few crits on him. Let's go. The spiritual weapon is not working that well. Let's get him. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. Oh no! Let's go, let's go, let's go. We put some space in between us. Eat some food. Oh! Okay, we need to ditch these guys. How am I gonna ditch them? The spiritual weapon is not as good as I want it to be. Okay, we got one on us. Let's get him off. I got an idea. I got an idea. Grab three logs. Who? Okay, they're coming for me. Okay, we got a crafting table. Ooh, I'm hit with an arrow. How much space do I have? Oh, I have enough space. Okay, quickly get a boat crafted. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, go, 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 go. Yes! They can't catch me. I'm so fast. Boat on ice is super fast. I should be able to get away now. Let's go. The spiritual weapon is glitching beside me so bad. Okay, let's go. We have definitely gotten away from them. Oh my God, we went so fast so far. Now let's quickly get out of here before they catch up and let's get back to our base. Okay, so if there's one thing we learned from that fight, having eight hearts absolutely stinks. And also fighting three of them is really hard this time, which means it's time for us to finally grow up and become a bigger angel. You see, if I become a saint, I get 15 total hearts, more energy for my energy bar down here, and I have slow fall, strength one, and jump boost two. And I definitely need to do that because right now I basically just plummet to the earth. Okay, so to become a saint, we don't need that much. We need 64 bread, 64 fish, and a single water bucket. So since we need fish, let's go to a crafting table and let's make ourselves a fishing rod, which uh, I think is made like, like this. No, nope, like this. Aha! And let's go catch some fish. I feel like a good old day on the lake. One of these days, a fish will be here. Maybe. Oh, we got it! Okay, I'm not gonna lie. We caught a fish, but that actually took forever to catch. I don't have to catch 64 fish like that. So instead, let's just go over here and punch fish. See, that was way easy. We already got 13 salmon. And there we go, now we have 64 fish, meaning we just need a water bucket and 64 bread. And luckily I have a bucket on me, so let's just fill it with some water. And, and now we just need bread. So let's bring this stone hoe with us, because it'll make it easier to get the hay. Okay, perfect. The village nearby the base, of course, has some hay bales, which just makes life a lot easier. We need a little more. Is there any more hay? Oh, is that another farm? It turns out all the hay is literally on the coast. Anyway, let's just quickly grab it. But luckily, I think it's actually enough. Let me see. Oh yeah, that's definitely enough. Let's go home and make some bread and then we can upgrade our angel. Okay, let's quickly make the 64 bread. The moment you've all been waiting for. I can stop being a puny angel. Let's do it. We're now a saint. Oh, I'm huge. Did my gender change? Wait, what? Okay, I thought I was a male angel before. I'm a female angel now. We won't question the upgrade system, but I'm huge. And you know what? I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of cool with this angel. Not only can I jump over my walls now, but look how much better my glide ability is. Look at that. I basically hover to the ground 15 hearts it gives me strength one so we'll be a lot stronger now in fights too anyway it's already nighttime so let's go to sleep and then we can work on divine intervention an upgrade that doubles all ores that i mine and can repair all my armor and tools okay so to unlock divine intervention we need a buried treasure map a woodland explorer map and a cartography table and luckily i'm an expert on these things i have to collect them in almost every video lately so first let's get the buried treasure map because i think that's going to be the easiest so all we got to do is make a boat find an ocean and look around for some sunken ships okay we found our first shipwreck there's no guarantee there's a map on there so let's just hope there is 
No map. Okay, first shipwreck is a bust. We gotta go find another one. Oh, oh, shipwreck. Okay, there's shipwreck literally right below us. I almost didn't see this one. Oh, we got a chest here. Oh, yes, there it is. We got the buried treasure map. Now let's quickly go see this chest over here. Might as well grab the stuff. Take those carrots. Oh, I'm drowning. Okay, we've got the buried treasure map, and it's actually leading really close by. So let's head over there real quick and get this treasure. We might as well. Okay, it's this way. It's gotta be like right here. Oh, we got it. Oh, yeah, look at that. We get a heart of the sea, two diamonds, a bunch of iron, a bunch of gold. Oh, this worked out great. And there we go. Now we also got some treasure and the treasure map. Now let's head home and quickly make a cartography table. And then the only thing left we need is the Woodland Explorer map. Okay, so if you've seen my videos before, you know how to get a Woodland Explorer map. I have to do it all the time just to find Woodland Mansions. And you're an expert at this point. So I'm going to make this really, really fast. We need two stacks of paper, two stacks of glass panes, and eight or so emeralds, two compasses, and then you can get your yourself a woodland explorer map and i guess technically you need a cartography table too but we have one so let's start by quickly making ourselves a couple iron shovels and let's go grab some sand above okay that should be enough sand so now let's go ahead and grab some sugar cane so we can make two stacks of paper Okay, cool. We got all the sugar cane we need now. So now let's just go back home. Okay, we got some glass smelting. So while that's smelting, let's quickly go grab those emeralds. And perfect, there's a cave to slip right inside. Oh, no way. I perfectly just bumped into some emeralds in a cave. We got two. Is that all we need? Oh, yeah, that's all we need. We got all the emeralds. That's eight emeralds. Oh, well, that was easy. I guess let's go back to the base now. Okay, I see the base just up ahead. Oh, I also see. Wait, did I? No, they're here. The demons. Yay. Oh, it's his base. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, they're playing TNT. No, 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 no. My glass, my glass, my glass. Oh, I need to grab my glass. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, put out the fire. Oh, glass. Oh. Okay, two of them are dead. They blew each other up. Oh, my God, that thing sets me on fire. Hold on. I can get him with my bow. He has a fire, like, pitchfork. Oh, he's poisoned. <laughs> yes, okay, we got him. Okay, he's dead. Dude, they destroyed this place. A bunch of my items are still here. What can I salvage? Okay, I gathered up uh, as many of the essentials as I could find. But I'm not gonna lie, this base is absolutely toast. Uh, we're gonna have to definitely move. Let's go find a new base. After my base was found by the demons, I needed to get far away before finishing the divine intervention upgrade. Okay, this is my brand new base. And it's much better than the last one. Because I can actually see in every direction extremely far. And I also thought it looked cool to be on a random random plains hill in the middle of a swamp bio. It's as if my angel purified this land. Well, let me show you the rest of the base. Obviously, this side's pretty straightforward. We got my items. We set up some furnaces and smokers. My bed's right there. Crafting table right there. Nether portal right there. But if we swim down this little waterway, we'll come down to the lower floor where we just have an enchantment table and a couple fountains. But anyway, since the base is done, let's finish up divine intervention. Now, as you can see, I still have the buried treasure map. And if I turn all the glass I have into glass panes, we definitely have enough. And same thing goes for the sugar cane. But you get what I mean. We're pretty much ready to trade with this guy. So let's grab our cartography table. Let's go to a village and let's go get a woodland mansion map. Okay, I think this desert village should do. This is a really wonky village. Hello, villagers. Hello, villagers. Please take this cartography table and become a librarian. Yo, he did. Yes. Okay, cool. So now if we trade him all our paper, he's going to give us some emeralds. Nice and easy. He's now not a novice. Boom. He's now an apprentice. Now we trade him our glass paint. He's now a journeyman, meaning he can now sell us the Woodland Explorer map for a compass and some emeralds. And bada bing, bada boom, we've got ourselves the Woodland Explorer map. And now we can unlock Divine Intervention once I take back my cartography table. Ta-da! And it's unlocked! Now let's see how Divine Intervention works. Apparently, I can select an ore by left-clicking it. And you can see that happening on the screen. So let's select Diamond. And then if I right-click it... Oh, let me get a little deeper. If I right-click it, it gives me coordinates in chat. And those coordinates will lead me straight to an ore. So let's follow it. Okay, and if we dig down straight here, we should bump into the diamonds. Look at that, diamonds! We found them! Okay, that's a pretty cool ability. Okay, so now that we have divine intervention, let's now unlock the spiritual shield. Now, my spiritual weapon, which I just turned back on, obviously just floats around me and hits anything that gets close to me. And I'm assuming the spiritual shield will do the exact same thing, except it will prevent all damage that comes my way. And that sounds amazing, so I want it. But to get it, I need to block 100 damage with a shield and kill three of the demons. Let's go find a skeleton and let's go block 100 arrows. Okay, we're getting a lot of blocks from these dudes. Okay, there we go. We've officially 
blocked 100 damage. Now we just need three player kills. Okay, we're home. Let's actually go ahead and make a new shield because our current shield is about to break. There we go. Now let's just go get the three demon kills we need and we can have a spiritual shield and a spiritual sword. Okay, we should be getting close. Their base is... It's literally right here. Just up ahead. Let's go this way. Bless ourselves. Now let's move in. Oh, back. oh, he's here, he's here. Oh, yeah. But look at this. I can shield and I can still hit you. My spiritual weapon will save the day. Okay, one down already. I see the others. They're coming in. I got an idea, though. Let's go this way. Okay, I blocked them in. I blocked them in. Oh, he hit me. Oh, no. Okay, full damage kills don't count, unfortunately, but we got another one. Okay, here we go. We're going to have to use this to our advantage. Okay, let's bless ourselves. Get some more hearts in here. Okay, we need to back off. Hold on. They're kicking our butt right now. Bless myself for some more hearts. Okay, hold on a minute. We're good. It seems to be going after this guy. So let's target one at a time. This is what we're going for. Okay, we gotta heal. We gotta heal. Let's back off for a sec. Okay, they're trying to arrow me. Hold on. Let's get this guy. It should knock him back. Hold on. We need to back off. I'm in a lot of trouble here. We're low. We're really low. Let's get around this corner quick. Ooh, come on, hunger. Where are you? There we are. Go this way. Oh, they're on my tail. They're literally on my tail. I got an idea. I got an idea. Bless. E. Okay, there's only two here. Oh, God, no! that thing hurts. Oh, we got two. We got two. Okay, nice. Oh, this is really tough. He's got to be low. He's got to be low. Oh, I'm out of here. I'm out, skis. I'm out, skis, boys. No, he's going to kill me. Yes, okay. We got all three kills. Okay, we need to unlock that shield. We got the spiritual shield. Oh, you can't hurt me. Okay, they're backing off. Hold on. We have space. We can get out of this. Let the energy regain. I have a brilliant idea. Here we go. Nice! We killed one? No, they're backing up. There's our chance. Hold on. I got a really good idea. Nice. We can hit him. Our spiritual our spiritual shield is blocking all this damage. Kids, go this way. We got one here. Oh, no! He got me, dude! Nice! We got him! Okay, let's climb. Let's climb. Let's climb. One more to go. Okay, we, we actually may be able to ditch him in here. And with that, we definitely just lost him. He's way on that hill over there. We are gone. All right, besides all the burning, once I had that shield, they didn't really stand a chance against me. So now with the spiritual sword and spiritual shield, I honestly feel really strong right now. And so I want to unlock smite, which allows me to summon three strikes of lightning where the last one explodes. Now to actually unlock this, I need to reach max building height, kill six demons, and get struck by lightning. Now reaching max building height should not be an issue. In fact, let's do it right now. We've officially hit the max build height of 319. And if we accept the quest now, you'll see we've already reached max build height. And now we can simply just jump on down. And there we go. Now we just need to get struck by lightning, which means we gotta make ourselves a lightning rod. Now to make a lightning rod, it's really easy. It's just three copper ingots, so I literally already have everything I need to make it. The hard part is I need to wait for a thunderstorm, so basically just have to carry around this lightning rod until a thunderstorm pops up. Okay, let's put our raw copper inside the blast furnace, and let's go over to the crafting table. Now we got ourselves a lightning rod, and now, like I said, we just gotta hold it until a storm appears. But luckily, there is one other piece to this quest that I have left, and that is to get six kills on demons. Now, I struggled to get three. So first thing we got to do is get some enchanting done. We can get ourselves sharpness three on our diamond sword. And now I'm going to go to the nether and quickly mine four ancient debris. Okay, so we take our divine intervention book, select netherite and right click it. It's going to give us the coordinates of some netherite. And see, we're at the coordinates and here's the ancient debris. Okay, let's go find another one. Okay, here we go. This is our fourth and final ancient debris. Now let's go back to the base and let's make ourselves a netherite sword. First things first, we're going to need a smithing table, which is made of four wood and two iron. Now let's grab some of our gold ingots and let's smelt our ancient debris. Now let's make ourselves a netherite ingot, combine that netherite ingot with our sword, and bada bing bada boom, we have a sharpness three netherite sword, which is perfect for killing demons at tomorrow. Okay, their base is just up ahead, so let's go. We're going straight in. I also brought some water buckets in case they set me on fire again. Oh, he's watching, he's watching. Oh, he's shooting teeth. Woo! I can't get it like in the window, bro. Oh, I got one in. Oh my goodness, they blew up through our base. Oh God, okay, what are those things? Let's use our sword. Our sword should be strong enough to take him out. Oh, they've got to be low. Come on. He's trying to run. Ooh, watch out for that. Can we bless ourselves? We haven't gotten a kill yet, though. Oh, we got. he's got to be low. Nice, we got one. Oh, they're going to move this TNT. Bad. Ooh. Oh, no. There. We got a second kill. 
Oh god. Oh god, oh god. Yes, we got another one. Okay, they're trying to run. My sword must be doing a beating to them. Oh, there's CT right there. Oh god. Oh, we're burning. Oh, we're gonna die. Oh, we're gonna die. Oh, oh we're burning again. Oh, oh, they're shooting TT at me. Oh, okay. Only one's chasing. We're good. We're good. We can get away from this. Yeah, we're losing them. We only got one on our tail right now. There we go. We got them. Okay, we need to go ahead and get out of here before any of them decide to sprint and catch up. Okay, those new hell cannons are gonna be a problem. I literally didn't even get the last player kill I needed. I still need one more. But luckily, I have a genius idea. You see, what if I just simply make armor that's blast proof? Then I don't have to worry about it for a sec and can get this last kill. First things first, let's go get some more diamonds. Okay, we got all the diamonds we need. Now let's go make some blast proof armor. Diamond chest plate, diamond leggings, diamond helmet, and diamond boots. Okay, no blast protection on that. Okay, it looks like we can get blast protection two on our helmet, which is exactly what we needed. Now our leggings have blast protection. Okay, I wasn't able to get blast protection on my chest plate or boots, so we'll just stick to using the normal ones for now. And so tomorrow we will go fight those demons and actually get that final kill. Okay, I'm back at their base, but I actually think they moved. All their stuff is gone. It's destroyed. So I'm assuming they left. It took me two days of searching till I was able to find the demon's new hideout. And of course, they made yet another demon tower. Okay, this definitely has to be their base. One, it's another giant tower. And two, they keep using all sorts of nether blocks. Two of them. Looks like they have another tower up here. Let's see if we can get inside. Okay, it looks like something's smelting in here. Oh my god, they have a ton of gold. Oh my god, look at all this gold. I just stole tons of gold. Oh my god, gold city. I don't think they saw me, so let's just keep moving in. Oh, he sees me. He sees me. He sees me. We're in. Let's go up. There's one right, literally right here. All we need is one kill. Play aggressive. Yes, we got the one kill. We already got it. Oh, they have scaffolding to go up. Hold on. Oh my God, he just rushed in here. I'm coming. Ah! Oh! oh, he lived. Here we go. Let's move in. He's going this way. Okay, we put ourselves out. He's trying to get away. Nice, he's done. He's already low. Oh, we're taking some damage. Hold on, we need to back off. Okay, swim away for a sec. We got all the kills we need. Let's not get greedy. Nice, they're missing. They don't have any boats. Okay, we have enough wood to make a boat. Let's quickly make a boat. Okay, let's go back up. And we're gone. Let's go! That went way better than the first time. We got all the kills we need. We have reached the max build height, meaning all we have to do left is strikes. No way. It's finally raining! But is it a thunderstorm? That's the question. Oh, it is! It is! Oh, we got struck the second we put it down! Let's go! We did it! Okay, well, perfect. We can now unlock Smite. So let's try it over here on this guy. Oh my god, it wiped that creeper out. Well, that works. We're officially done with Smite. From here, it is time to become a Seraph, which is this one right here. We need 10 Gas Tears, 10 Honeycomb, and 10 Phantom Membrane, and that'll get us 20 Hearts, a new ability called Slow Rise, where I can start to float, Drink 2, Speed 1, and Jump 3. Yeah, I'm gonna be broken. So let's get started on the Gas Tears. Okay, we've got all the gas tiers we need. Now let's go ahead and let's go get some honeycomb. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I totally just had to look up how to get honeycomb because I actually have no idea. But it turns out it's quite easy. So when a bee's nest reaches level five and is full of honey, I can shear it and get three honeycomb. So I basically need to find four of those things and I should be fine. Okay, I found my first yellow hive. I think that means it's level five when it has like those yellow symbols. And if I right click it, you'll see it drops some honeycomb. We got three honeycomb. Cool. Now we need to go find a bunch more honey nests. Okay, yes, another yellow honey nest. Still gave us three. Here's another one. Oh, they're angry. Oh, there's one right here. Oh. What happened there? Anyway, we got all the honeycomb we need. Now let's just go back to the base. We just need some phantom membrane. Okay, we're back at the base, but obviously I can't sleep because I'm waiting for the phantoms to spawn. But it has been three days, so I do believe they should be spawning tonight. Oh, wait, what? Oh, Phantom, I didn't even hear you. Hello. Okay, one Phantom dead. He didn't drop a membrane. Come here, you. Okay, we've got two Phantom membranes. So we'll just kind of run around tonight and wait for more to spawn and kill them and see how many we get. Is that a skeleton horse? You are now my skeleton horse. I need to get a saddle. Hold up. Oh, I think I heard Phantoms. Wait, hold up. Oh, I did. There we go. Three Phantom membranes. Okay, we do not have a saddle, but I have another way to get that horse. We'll make a lead. And now my horse is stuck to my house until I can get a saddle. I heard it. Oh, there's a few of them. One, two. 
Okay, we got six phantom membranes and the sun is finally rising. And my horse has a shelter. Okay, now that it's day 33, I'm gonna go mine for some ancient debris in the nether using divine intervention. And then tonight we'll get more phantom membranes so that way we can become a seraph. Okay, let's go. Let's get the ancient debris smelting. Let's grab our gold. And I hear a friend. Hello. There we go. We got eight phantom membranes. Now we just need two more. And now let's upgrade our chest plate to become netherite in our leggings. And I hear another one. Where is it? Oh, bring it on, you two. One more phantom membrane to go. There you are. Two more, you huh? There we go. We got 10 phantom membranes. Anyway, now we can actually go to sleep because we don't need any more phantom membranes. And hello on day 34. We can go from a saint to a seraph. What up? Uh, look at me. Do I have six wings? Oh my goodness. Okay, this is pretty crazy. I don't really seem to have a face. But with this brand new angel come some incredible powers. Let me show you. First things first, I now have the ability to fly. By holding space, it costs energy. By holding space, you'll see I slowly glide up into the sky. But that is super useful. But the best thing is there's only one more tier three upgrade to go. And that is rejoice the followers. Where villagers will sell me stuff at half price. And when I right click a villager, it'll drop me a random item in the game. I could get an anvil dropped on my head for all I know. But the best thing is, villagers and iron golems will now fight for me. You know, because I'm an angel and stuff. Let's go ahead and get that upgrade. Now to unlock it, I need 64 emeralds, 10 sponges, and a totem of undying. None of which is really too difficult to get. So let's get the easiest part out of the way, the emeralds. Okay, we've got all the emeralds that we're gonna need, which means we just need a totem of undying and some sponges. I'm gonna go boat over to a tropical ocean, find a coral reef and some sponges, and then go take them. Oh, I think I see one. Oh, we finally found one. We're in an ice biome, and I hate this guy's abilities. Okay, we're inside the temple. I just gotta find these sponges. They're somewhere in here. I found the gold block room before I found the sponge room. How is that even possible? There we go. I found the sponges. Let's go. Okay, let's grab these sponges. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. We have enough sponges. No, wait, dude. I thought this guy was... But whatever, we got the sponges. Now let's just go up in our boat and head on home. Okay, now that we have both the emeralds and sponges, we literally just need a totem of undying. So let's quickly head to a pillager tower and get bad omen and then walk into a village to start a raid. Okay, that's the pillager tower I was talking about. Okay, we're at the pillager tower. Now we're just gonna start killing some pillagers until we get bad omen. I think we gotta kill a very specific pillager, but I don't know which one, so I'm just gonna kill them. I'm starting to think this iron golem may have killed them all off because he's damaged and there's like no pillagers. Great, now I gotta go find another pillager tower. Okay, I made it to the second pillager tower just up this hill. Okay, finally a bannerman spawned. Let's go. And now we have Bad Omen. That only took till the next morning, but that's okay. Okay, now that we have Bad Omen though, let's go make our way to a village and start a raid. Okay, let's enter this village and the raid has started. I see them over on the mountains over there. Okay, I have to go stop them. Hold on. Now we need to go ahead and get ourselves the totem. Where's the totem spawning one? Oh, is it him? Oh, there he is. That's the totem dropping guy. Let's get that guy first. We're under attack, but we got the totem of undying. Now let's finish this raid off so this village doesn't get destroyed. And just like that, I'm the hero of the village. And by the end of that, I got myself four totems of undying just so I could have a few extras. Anyway, let's make our way back to the base. So that way we can turn our wet sponges into actual sponges and then we can do the upgrade. Oh, oh, they, blew, they just attacked my base. I don't even have a base to come back and smell to. Wait, what? Oh, they're throwing TNT. Hold on, I can get him. Oh, oh, we took care of one, yes. Okay, just keep using our lightning. The lightning's really broken. But here we go. Oh, dude. Okay, he's gotta be hurting there. I wish it were a oh, oh my God. Okay, that's two down. He's gotta be low. Here we go, we got him here, ready? Okay, well, I think our base is toast. Yeah, there is literally nothing left. Never mind. We're not drying out our sponges. We're instead going to make a new base. Fine. After finding my base completely destroyed, I decided to build a base that would be overpowered. You see, with my brand new ability, Rejoice the Followers Unlock, all villagers and iron golems will fight for me. Meaning, it only makes sense to have our next base be inside of a village. Okay, and welcome to the brand new base. Now, this base arguably doesn't look as good, but let me show you around. First things first, 
first. This is the main room where we got our furnaces, blast furnaces and smokers. Our mine shafts just down this way. And all our chests are now protected in water. So hopefully we don't lose all our items again. Over on this side behind the nether portal, we have another room that has a bed, the enchanting table, a little bit of lava, and just some more brewing stands and crafting. You'll find these two rooms are connected in this hallway and there's a single ladder down from up there. But that's the entrance, not the exit. To exit, you simply just go in this water over here and swim your way into the village. But if you come over here to this house that has no door and you look over to the side, you're gonna see a mine cart underneath the bed. If you click it and then hop out, you go down a ladder and another ladder and now you're inside of the base. And the best part is, since we unlock Rejoice the Followers, all the villagers and the iron golems in this village will now fight for me. I basically have an army of guards. Anyway, it is now time to become a full-fledged angel where we'll have 30 hearts, more strength, more jump boost. You get the idea. But to get it, we need 32 diamonds, 32 emeralds, 64 gold ingots, and a pig step music disc. And luckily, since this village is in a mountain biome, getting the emeralds and the diamonds is gonna become super easy. Once again, all thanks to divine intervention. Okay, now that we have all of the diamonds and the emeralds that we're gonna need, we just need some more gold and the pig step music disc. And since we can get both those things in the nether, let's start heading to a bastion. Okay, well, that's convenient. Our brand new portal is literally right next to a bastion. Okay, we're inside this place. Let's just grab these chests. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Okay, where do we go? Pig step! No way! The first chest I opened had pig step! Okay, still not much gold overall, but I know if we go this way, there should be another chest. Nice, a gold block. Okay, let's grab these two gold blocks on the bridge. And now let's grab all this gold at the bottom here. We definitely have all the gold we need, so let's go ahead. And let's head back to the base since we already have the disc and the gold we need. Okay, first things first, I want to go ahead and turn my diamond helmet into a netherite helmet as well, meaning we only need netherite boots and we'll have the full set of netherite armor. Now back to becoming an angel. You'll see I have everything we need and it is currently only day 41. So let's quickly take off the armor and let's transform from a seraph into an angel. Ta-da! We're huge. Literally, look at us. Now if we look at angel, we still don't have the ability to fly. The only way to get that is to actually become the archangel. And now we're back to being all geared up, meaning we are an angel ready for war. It's time to start working on our next combat upgrade called Holy Protector, which basically just spawns another angel that fights alongside me. Now to get it, I need to kill 50 piglins, kill 50 zombie piglins, melee the warden 20 times, gain bad omen, and kill the demons eight times. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just gonna start with the piglin kills because they're the easiest and that should only take a quick sec. <laughs> Okay, there we go. All the piglins dead. And now we just need to go melee a warden, get bad omen, and get some demon kills. Okay, now that we got some of the easy stuff out of the way, I want to do one of the harder ones, which is hit the warden 20 times and then run the heck away because killing the warden's a pain. But that's going to require us to find an ancient city. Now, luckily, you guys taught me a trick that makes finding ancient cities easy, so this shouldn't take too long to find. Searching for an ancient city took a couple of days, but like you guys told me in the comments, they spawn mostly under mountains. Okay, we found the ancient city. Now we just got to go ahead and get a warden to spawn. I'm obviously gonna get some items in the meantime though till he spawns because like this place has got some great items There's the warden. There he is. Okay, let's go for him. Let's go for him We still need five more hits on that warden, but let's get some health back in us first Okay, we got all 20 hits. Now we're definitely gone. Perfect. Here's a little cave and now let's get out of here Okay, so we're at a pillager tower real quick because I want to stop. By oh, hello So I want to quickly stop by and get bad omen because it only takes a little while of standing here to hopefully get it There we go. That's exactly who we need to spawn. Come here you give me bad omen And now we got bad omen again meaning now we just need to go kill Kill eight demons. But before we actually go kill the demons, let's go ahead and turn our boots into netherite boots. And there we go. Netherite boots. And now we're covered in netherite. Now that we're in full netherite, let's go get those demon kills while also being careful not to enter this village because I don't want them to go through another raid. Okay, the demon's base is literally just behind me. I literally see some of them doing work outside. So let's just go get our eight kills and quickly get out of here. Oh, he doesn't even see me. Oh! Yo, one even, what? Oh, we already got one of them. Two kills. Whoa, the throw TT. That's what I was waiting for. Ah! Okay, we got three kills on them right now. There we go, four kills. Okay, we're at five kills now. I'm quickly hiding till they start building up here. Let's we literally need two more kills. I'm gonna get away. I must get away. I'm dead. One more kill. He's gotta be low. We got him! Eight out of eight! And since we're low on energy, let's get the heck out of here. Okay, we've got everything we need to officially unlock Holy Protector. Let's go ahead and let's summon one. Ta-da! 
Look, I have my own little angel teammate. And if anyone tries to attack me, they'll fight for me. Let me show you. Get them, angel. See, look, they're like a turret. Their aim may not be the best, but they can shoot arrows rapid fire. And with that unlocked, there's actually only four more upgrades to go. We have Holy Ground, the Archangel, Sunburst, and Temple of the Gods. Now, to actually get Holy Ground, which is our last tier four upgrade, we need 32 blocks of gold and five enchanted golden apples. Now, if I quickly go to my chest, I already have a lot of gold. In fact, if I turn all my ingots back into blocks, I only need six more. So we'll go get gold blocks later. As for the god apples, there's actually a really easy way to get five god apples, which is to go back to the ancient city we were just at, and this time try not to fight a warden. But instead, we're simply going through the chests looking for god apples, since they have the highest rate of spawn in an ancient city compared to any other structure in the game. Okay, we've got it just literally just up here. Let's check this one out first. Oh, it has one. Yes. Okay, we already have our first god apple. Oh, there's a chest up here. I didn't even notice it. Oh, good thing I did. It also has a golden apple. Okay, this one does not have a golden apple, only some coal and some books. Oh, we got one in here. Oh, yes, we got another one. We literally just need one more. Oh, it has it. Let's go, dude. We already have all five god apples and we didn't even summon a single warden this time. Now that we got our five god apples, let's go get some gold in the nether and finish up this upgrade. So let's make our way to a fresh bastion where I can quickly grab some gold blocks and then head on home. Okay, just around the back here on a bastion I've actually already been through, there was a few golden blocks I missed. So let's grab those first. Okay, that's four gold blocks. We just need two more. And there's two. Perfect. That's all the gold we need. Let's go on home. Okay, we're home. And Who? Yo, is he down there? Yeah, yeah, I see him. I see him. I'm in. Why are you here? Hold up. Okay, we killed him. Oh, the other's here. Yeah, they're coming in right now. I literally see them. Okay, we killed one. We can't let him get the chest. He's looking for the chest. I'm gonna see if I can destroy his base a little bit or something. I don't know. Nope, he got me. Okay, okay. Oh, that was so close. They came into the wrong room. They were so close to my chest room. Oh, okay. Well, we dodged them, but they definitely know where this base is. Let's quickly unlock Holy Ground by having our gold blocks and our enchanted golden apples. And ba da ba, we've unlocked it. Let's see what it does. Oh, it's like a beacon area. And as long as I'm standing in this beacon, basically anything inside this circle that's friendly to me, like villagers and stuff, all get blessed with my bless ability that gives five hearts. And anything that isn't friendly to me just catches fire. But anyway, since this base has been compromised, Let's just start moving all our stuff to a new base where things are gonna be a little bit safer And we won't be blown up in a few days I spent six total days building my new base as I really wanted to make sure this one didn't get destroyed But knowing how these demons have been so far that is going to be an extremely hard task and welcome to the brand new base once again i made this base in a village so that way the villagers and the iron golems will protect us however this time the only way to get to the base is to fly there so literally only i can get here no one's getting to this base unless they build over to it and with that it's time for an empty cribs tour so let's go you walk in you got the nether portal and a water pathway that leads to the main area as we get up here we have an infinite water source my bed all the furnaces all the chests and we got ourselves our enchanter we only have three more upgrades to go that'll definitely help us survive until day 100. We have the Archangel, Sunburst, and Temple of the Gods. All of these upgrades require stuff from the end. And so with that, it is time to start going to the end. So let's go gather up all the stuff we need, which is blaze rods and ender pearls. Okay, we've got eight blaze rods, which is more than enough. Now let's go find ourselves a bastion and start getting some ender pearls. Okay, we found a bastion. Let's see if there's gold in this main area here. I don't see any. I see a chest though. Oh, I see a gold block right there. Let's quickly loot this chest. One gold block, some ancient debris, nothing else. There's two. Nice, we got some gold, some ancient debris. Two gold blocks in this one and some more ancient debris. We've got three piglins trapped. Oh, almost four. We can get in there. Now we just gotta wait for the ender pearls to start coming in. Oh, it looks like we're done trading. They're starting to just kill each other off, which is good. And we got ourselves 13 ender pearls. Not as many as I would have wanted for that much gold. Old, but hey, you take it when you get it. Okay, now we're gonna go back, turn these bad boys into eyes of ender, and start making our way to the portal. Okay, let's go ahead and let's combine our ender pearls with our blaze powder. That's gonna get us 13 eyes of ender. Now we just gotta go ahead and find the portal. So let's quickly float up to our roof and let's toss one of these bad boys that way. Okay, we'll go 500 blocks that way and throw the next one. Okay, let's throw the next eye. Oh, it's finally going backwards. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna throw. Wait, they just got I spy. No, it's going down right here. This is the spot. Let's go. We got to hurry because I, I don't know if they're here at a different stronghold. Oh, they just activated the portal. Oh, we're here. We got to find the portal quick. <gasps> it's right here. They're definitely trying to take that dragon egg. So we can't do the temple of the gods upgrade. Let's go. Okay, it looks like they already got all the crystals broken. They may not know I'm here. I'm going to use that to my advantage. Okay, we blew one up. Let's go. Okay, the dragon's almost dead. Let's get nice and high up and we can get him with our crossbow. He's dead! Yes! Okay, we just gotta get that egg. Oh, I need to get this guy. Okay, we put down our zone. He should be on fire. Why is he on fire? Okay, I moved, I moved the egg. Oh, no, is it over there still? Stop, 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 stop. I got it, I got it. Let's go. You got it? Yeah, let's go, let's go. Oh, no! No, my egg! He got the egg! Okay, we gotta kill this guy real quick. Hold on. Okay, there we go. We've taken care of them now, but they definitely got the egg. But they're gonna have to hold on to it for now, because there's still a bunch of stuff we need in the end, including Elytra. So let's quickly fly up here and throw our Ender Portal in. Okay, hey, look, there's an end city right there. But is there gonna be Elytra? Let's find out. Nope, this place literally has no Elytra at all. So let's 
go looking for a different end city so we can actually get the elytra it took a couple of days going from end city to end city just to find one that had a ship carrying elytra oh we got another end city does it have a ship let's find out oh it is a ship let's go and booyah we made it let's go okay break that murder you real quick grab this now let's quickly go get some other loot at this end city and then we're gonna head on home okay i was about to head on home but i'm actually missing something i need to collect 32 end rods as well for one of the upgrades there we go. We officially got 32 end rods. Now we can go on home. Okay, with the end battle complete, we've got almost everything we need, except for obviously the dragon egg because it got stolen. But we'll worry about that in a moment because we still got a bunch of stuff we need beyond that anyway. So if we look at Archangel, we need the end rods and the elytra, which is done. And then we just need 64 firework rockets and we can become an Archangel. So honestly, I feel like we should do that. So let's quickly gather 64 gunpowder, which will be a lot easier using Bless. And then we'll gather 64 paper and make the rockets. Okay, we've officially got all the gunpowder that we need. So now we just need to go grab some sugar cane, which we can do in the nearby desert. Okay, that should definitely be enough sugar cane. So now let's go back to the base and turn it into some paper. Now if we go and turn all our sugar cane into paper and combine it with our gunpowder, we're gonna get a bunch of firework rockets. Now if we grab our end rods and our elytra, we go from being an angel to an arch angel. Look at me. I have all my holy symbols behind my head and I am an absolute tank with 40 total hearts of HP. Plus I can bless myself. And of course I can still wear armor, making me pretty much unstoppable. But now that we're the arch angel, there's only two more upgrades to go. We have sunburst where we still have to kill a wither, kill eight of the demons, survive in lava for 60 seconds, and reflect 10 fireballs. And then there's Temple of the Gods, which requires 128 emeralds, 192 glowstone dust, and a dragon egg. And you know what? I want my dragon egg back. So let's go take it back so that way we can start completing these last two upgrades. Okay, so it turns out there's an archangel. I can fly like I have Elytra. So I quickly dashed over to this base, and as we can see, it's gone. They blew it to smithereens and likely moved away. So I gotta go fly around and find their brand new base. So let's go do that real quick. The demon's new base was actually fairly easy to find this time. I spent the first day looking around the overworld with no luck. However, I decided to check out the nether. And it was only a short time after that that I found the demon's nether base. Oh, I found their base! And they're in the nether! I got the egg. Oh, it's in his chest right next to him. Oh, I fell. Oh, we're burning. Okay, we're currently hiding inside this little hole. It looks like they're dropping TNT. So to be safe, let's get deeper in. Okay, I just hit one of them down into the lava. Oh, no! There's one right above me now. He's in the lava. Okay, we're back in their base. We're back in their base. Okay, they're starting to come up. There we go. Look at that. See you later. What other loot do they have? I'll take the ender pearls, the netherite scraps. Oh, I'll take all this. Nice, we got him. Okay, let's go this way. And now... Oh, you don't like that. That was spicy, huh? He's done. Yes, okay. That's four kills, but I'm gonna stop playing with my food. I got the dragon egg. Let's get out of here. Okay, the dragon egg is officially in its place on this crafting table until we can get the rest of the upgrade complete. Now to do that, we need 192 glowstone dust and 128 emeralds. And since we have the divine intervention book, we can double all emeralds we mine. So let's just go in and go mine a boatload of emeralds. Okay, we've got all of the emeralds that we need. Now we just need 192 glowstone dust and we can finish up that upgrade too. So let's quickly go gather glowstone dust because that is super easy. Okay, we officially have all the emeralds and glowstone dust we need. So with the dragon egg at home, we can complete this upgrade. Okay, let's go ahead and let's get the egg back. And there we go, we now have the egg again. And with everything in our hand, let's unlock the Temple of the Gods, which you know I gotta quickly summon. I just summoned it, it lagged. Oh my goodness, it's above me. It built me an angel base full of angels that'll fight for me. So we'll keep you guys nearby the base just in case we need you later. But it's good to have y'all on hand. Okay, with Temple of the Gods unlocked, there is legit one ability to go. I need more player kills, a wither kill. I have to survive in lava for about 30 more seconds and reflect 10 gas fireballs. And since that's all pretty easy, let's run to the nether and get all that nether stuff complete. First things first, let's go burn in some lava and just get this done with. There we go. We survived in lava for the 60 seconds. Now let's just wait for this to go away. Now let's go hit some fireballs back at some gas. And with that, we've officially gotten all the lava and fireballs reflected. Now let's go in and get some wither skeleton skulls so we can summon a wither. No way. We just got a skull on the first try. Let's go. We got all three skulls. Okay, now let's grab some soul sin and head on home so we can fight the wither. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's summon this wither. Okay, we've got the wither spawned. Let's go ahead and let's kill him. And Wither is dead. And with the Wither out of the way, we just need six demon kills. And we'll be completely done with every single upgrade in the game. Okay, with the Wither out of the way, let's go get those demon kills in the nether. They should still be at that base. So let's quickly swing down here. And now let's go get them. Okay, this is their base. This is, should be their fortress. Oh my god, he's back! Nice, we got one. We already got one. Nice, we got two. Nice, we got another one. That's seven. Nice, we got another one that's eight. Okay, let's stay in this little area. This is a good area to fight them. Little did you know, we actually had beds set up outside. Okay, wait a second. They must spawn outside the nether. Nice, we got one. We literally need one kill. 
We got him. Let's go. That's all the kills we need. Now let's just go ahead and let's get out of here. And we're gone. And so with that fight over, we can unlock our last upgrade called Sunburst, where we fire a large ball of flame that destroys blocks. Let me specifically show you what this does. And let's use it on the side of this mountain. So if I use Sunburst, and so if I use it, let's see what happens to this mountain. You're going to see it just ate through the entire mountain. In fact, let's go fly through real fast. Look at this. That is how OP this ability gets. But now it's time to use it to protect ourselves until day 100. You see, right now it is day 82, meaning we still have 18 days left to survive. And with everything fully upgraded, our only goal is to stay alive. And so I'm going to work on reinforcing the base until the demons come attack, because I know they're coming. I just don't know when. After getting fully upgraded, I simply reinforce my base to be ready to survive whatever plan the demons had in mind. And on day 86, they arrived with their demon weapons in hand. Okay, my humble servants are all just chilling up here. How's it going? They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Good talk. Oh, the hunters are here. I see them below. Oh, they see me. They definitely see me. One of them looks like they're trying to get to the base. Let's stop them before they get over there. Oh, they're blowing up the front of the base. Oh, I hear a lot of explosions. Oh, wait, was one of them in? Oh, no. My base is dead anyway. I can damage my own base. He's done. We got one. Okay, one's on the bridge. Let's hit him off. Ready? Oh, dude, he's on me. Nice. We got two. His shield's done. He's done. He's gonna go flying. Let's go. He's dead. Okay, we've taken out the demons yet again, but my base is toast. And uh, since my base is toast, and these things appear to be despawning now, that means I can't rely on these as a base either. That means I guess I'm gonna have to go on the run. There's there's really nothing else I can do. So let's try that instead. Days 87 to 94 are extremely boring. I just kept flying around everywhere, and no matter what the demons did, they couldn't catch me. But I decided this wasn't a very fun way to win the challenge. So in the end, I took the fight to them, and I'm glad I did because they built a brand new base on top of my old base. Did they build their base where my old base was? I was in this village. Okay, let's go ahead and use our fire ability straight down. That should break through the center of this base. Bro, we just knocked a hole in our base all the way to bedrock. Look at it, it just broke through the whole base. Did you like that? You wanna go in a big hole? Oh, I'm gonna put them in a hole next. Let's go. Oh, I made one of them fall to death using it. This is what you get for destroying my base. Come on, let's get them. We gotta destroy this base more than this. This base is still too intact. Okay, we're back on the roof. Let's re-get some energy and keep destroying this place. Fire! Okay, I just tore another massive hole through their place, and I don't think they realize I'm down here. Oh, look at all their beds right there. Oh, I found them. Now it's gonna burn those bad boys, and you won't have any more spawns left. I think he just broke our beds. Yeah, I, I think oh, that's what no, I'm doing. Oh, no, he is. He is. Yes, please. Throw all your TNT down here. Destroy these beds. Oh my god, it's making massive nether portals. This base is completely toast. I have destroyed the whole thing. In fact, let's just make sure it's all dead over here. So let's quickly destroy this. But yeah, this base is toast. Don't mess with angels or you're really gonna have it coming. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and head to spawn till day 100. So that way the demons have a chance at winning. Because right now, I don't think they do. The demons didn't show up on days 96 and 97. So I mostly just waited around. Because I knew they weren't just gonna give up when they were this close to the end. He's right above us. All right, let's end this. Yeah, I think we should set it off now. Three, two, one. All right, it's, oh, it's going, it's going, it's going. Whoa! Oh, I guess they are here. I didn't think they were going to show up. That literally caught me so off guard. Well, let's teach them a lesson for that one first off. Okay, I've taken off my spiritual shield and sword so it doesn't waste a lot of energy. Now, the question is, where are their beds? They definitely have them set up nearby. Let's kill one and see where he spawns. Okay, he's dead. He's fighting Zach. No! To save him. No! Right there, I see him. He's down there. So if I aim and fire. Did I get it? I did. I almost got it. Oh, you were underground, huh? Okay, let's get out of here quick. We have tons of rockets. We'll be fine. Okay, we killed one. Oh no, he's gonna turn me into a mob grinder. Oh, I didn't I didn't put it on in time. Okay, I just used all my energy to spawn myself my fighters. Okay, we're with all my angel friends. There is no way they take me down. In fact, let's summon some more angels. There we go, we got another one. I think he's on a sky temple. Let's get him. Oh, it looks like they're coming up. Get him! Okay, my angels should start fighting for me and take them out. Oh my gosh! Oh, what is happening? Let him sit there for a second. I'm gonna smite both of them. This could be it. Oh, it didn't even hit him. Look at how many arrows he has in him though. Yes, we got one! No! Okay, let's get this guy. Ready? Yes! Bird, no! Oh, my angels killed them! And now we just have to stay up here until day 100. And they'll never be able to stop me so long as I'm inside of these things. And on day 99, the demons couldn't do anything. They attacked again and again and again. But they couldn't stop my temple of the gods, meaning I successfully survived until day 100. Thanks for watching.